Hello friends, today I will show you how to make a Rizintosh that is installing Mac OS Catalina in AMD Risen based PC. So without much further ado, let's begin. We will need a 16GB flash drive and some tools for this. Links for all the tools are available in the description. At first we have to make our bootable flash drive. But before doing that we need to format our flash drive. Therefore let's format the flash drive. Now open a command prompt window. Then type disk part and hit enter. Now we have to list all the disks available. Then select your flash drive, you can recognize it by the listed sizes of the disks. This is my disk. Now let's clean it. Once we have cleaned it all the files stored in the flash drive will be gone, so take a backup beforehand. Now we have to create a primary partition. Now we can proceed with formatting the drive. Now we have a NTFS flash drive. Now, we need to open BDU. The link for this is in the description. First we have to go to option and then configuration. Here we have to check for the latest Clover bootloader. The latest version of Clover is 5100. Then hit OK. Now we need to format the USB drive once again. So select the USB drive. Basically this will install Clover onto our flash drive. Just wait until it's done flashing the USB drive. Alright so we're done. Then we need to go to tools and extract HFS. We have base system right here. Then go to shared support folder and click OK. All right, then click OK. HF Fest volume extracted OK. Now click on plus sign here. Part 2. No name. Restore. Then the HFS we just extracted. Open it. This process will take some time. Now we are done with this utility. Now we have to resize our USB drive using Paragon Partition Manager. The USB drive is right here. Now we have to resize Now all we have to do is to drag your 
cover and now change it here, resizing the partition here. Now we need to open Transmac. Now run it as administrator. Now go Tools, Settings, Disk Drives Image. Then click on Access non ramvable Drives. Read Write. Now click on your bootable USB drive. Then go to Mac OS Base System. And go to Install Mac OS Catalina. Then open the content folder. And here just right click on copy here. Now we have to browse for our install Mac OS Catalina app. Now open it and then go to content then select shared support and click on copy. This will take around 15 minutes. All right, we are done with Transmac. to copy the Clover bootloader to our bootable USB drive. Go to EFI partition and then Clover. And then paste the content from your downloaded Clover to this Clover folder. Place all the files. Now we are done setting up our bootable drive. You don't need to change any settings now, boot from your USB drive. Now boot from boot Mac OS install from Mac OS base system. Open Mac OS Utilities and go to Disk Utilities.
if you don't see or drive here then do this. Now format the drive where you want to install macOS. Now give any name to your drive leave all the settings same as mine. Now close this. Now go to reinstall map OS and continue. Now follow my steps. Select your hard disk and continue. Now once it's done then restart and boot again from your USB into the Clover Boot Manager. This time boot from your hard disk. Now once again reboot your system and boot into your USB. If you get this error then unplug the flash drive and plug it in again and reboot your PC, then boot from it. In case you have any error again then repeat the install process again now. Now set up your Mac, I am fast forwarding this. Now we have successfully installed Mac OS Catalina, but we are not done yet we have to install Clover Boot Loader, so that we don't need to use our USB stick to boot into Mac OS. Now we will download Clover Configurator. Now we have to mount our EF, I hard disk partition now open the partition now follow me.
Now we are done. If this video helped then please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this.